we are going to model this spiral house in Revit. If you want to support me, do not forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. To start, we will head to the Architecture tab in Revit, then Model Line tool, and start in Radius Arc. Then we will click and grab the line downwards for 25 meters. Grab it to one side and have a semicircle as a result. Then we will mirror it by clicking on the tool of mirror or DM as a shortcut from keyboard. Then now we can go to the 3D model to use our model lines as a base. To get to the uh, swept blend tool, we will go to the architecture tab, component, model in place, then we will scroll down, find generic models, click OK. Then we can name it whatever we want. Let's name it World House, for instance, then click OK. We will click on Swept Blend tool, pick a path, then click on one side of the sides. We have two paths, one profile per each end. Let's select one of the profiles and you can see this plus sign is where the profile will be drawn on and the red dot is the center. Select the other profile if you want to edit the other one. We have two buttons, edit profile if you want to draw something, load profile if you have something drawn to use it on the swept blend. We will click on edit profile, then draw on this red dot our inscribed polygon from the toolbar. Make the sides four, make sure it's four, then click on the red dot, grab it down for four meters or type on the keyboard 4M. Then click enter, finish the edit mode, select the other profile and do the same. Edit profile, inscribe polygon, four sides, and draw a four meters polygon. Finish and finish again. This is our first part selected, and we need to mirror it. To mirror it, use the mirror or MM as a shortcut from keyboard and click on one of the sides, one of the ends. Now the other part can be edited as well. If you double click on it, you will be able to double click on one of the sides or one of the ends to edit the profile of it. Tap, use the tab to select it all, then use MV or the move tool to move it from the lower left side perpendicularly to an eight meter distance. Then click finish edit mode twice and finish model. We will repeat this twice. So click mirror, mirror it and edit the other end. We move this end eight meters upwards from the lower left side and then click finish finish again and finish model now we have our base model but if we look closely it's not really that smooth so what we can do is we can edit whatever we want by double clicking on it we choose this part of the mass for instance and click the profile in the original photo, it looks like this part is a little bit upwards, so it looks more smooth. So we move it upwards to the red dot, from the, uh, from the lower end to the red dot in the middle. Then click Finish, then Finish Model. And for the parallel profile, we need to make it attach it as well. So we click on it twice, and we grab it upwards to the red dot. We still have something to do, this upper part and lower parts. So we need to uh, 
make the upper one and then mirror it downwards. So we click finish model, head to the site plan and go to the architecture tab, make a reference plane or click RP from keyboard as a shortcut. Make it continuous from the middle line and straightforward. Then name it A for instance. Go to the 3D model and click on the back side from the cube, 3D cube. Component model in place and go to the generic model. When you scroll down, click OK and let's name it extension. Using the swap blend again, we will sketch a path this time. But make sure you choose the reference plane A because we will use it to model this extension. Using to have this uh, curvature, we will use the spline. So click in the middle and then move a little bit to the right side, click once more to have a start of the curvature, then one more time before you go upwards to have a slightly curved form. And when you reach to the top side, you will click for the fourth time, then finish model. We have our uh, sketched line that we want select a profile of edit profile you see we can easily select the lines click finish select the other profile which picks the other end incline polygon we have to draw this by ourselves make sure the sides are four go down by clicking on the red dot and typing four meters we have our extension to mirror it, we need to go to the east elevation, make sure it is selected, and using the uh, draw uh, measure line, we mirror it vertically and horizontally. Then we delete the one we don't want, select it, and move it by typing MV on your keyboard and put it on its right place. But it looks like it needs one more measuring. So we use the DM measure or the select middle line for measuring, but we still have a problem. That problem is uh, an intersection or a collision of masses. We have two options, either we change the curvature of the main mass or the curvature of this extension. And in the picture, in the original picture, it looks less uh, curved than the upper one. So we can double click, double click on the line and move the control points. So we change the curvature of it. We can make it adaptive to our uh, environment. So. Create the environment first, then create this model up on it. Click on the line, add control points. We are just now adding the last touches to have a proper curvature for this line, not to collide with the main mass. Then click finish, finish. Now we have it. Make it as a shaded mass to see what you, we are doing. To transform this into this, we will need to use the curtain system. If you want to support me, do not forget to like the video and share it, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We go to the architecture tab, then the curtain system, select multiple, make sure it is, it is checked and you will see a plus sign beside the mouse cursor, uh, you can now select all the sides of one part. By clicking tab, you can even select the ones at the back side. Then you click on create system, you have one complete system for each part.
and we continue like this for the rest of the parts we want to change how the mullions are we have two types we have one system but two types of mullions we will click on one of the system one of the grids edit type then duplicate it let's name this one spiral house and click ok let's keep it uh, as the join condition as not defined we can later make it continuous if we see any errors but for now let's keep the grids join condition as they are because they look decent actually for the curtain panels we can make it empty it, it it looks empty in the original photo but you can make it glazed as well or solid like walls let's keep it none for now for the layout the, the grid one is for the long lines going along the mass but for grid 2 they are for the vertical elements so we can modify the numbers make layout as minimum spacing for both of the grids then change the spacing for the grid 1 to 6 meters and for grid 2 keep it as uh, 1500 and we know that we need these long lines the boldest for grid 1 mullions so we will pick 50 by 150 meters millimeters for the interior type for border 1 type and border 2 types border 2 types we can pick an L corner mullion to have uh, a thick border for our mass and for grid 2 mullions we will pick a bit smaller one which is 30 millimeter square for all of the types interior type and border 1 type border 2 type the other data is not really important for this tutorial so we will click ok and see this result now we need to select all the systems for each part and make them from curtain system to spiral house system but i don't like how these connections look like so you can click on tab then unpin it unpin the mullion then delete it now something else is important we want to have a floor instead of the mass so we can use the mass we have the swift blend mass you can double click it or click on edit in place and then double click on the profile and click on pick lines tool and pick the line which makes your floor then make the offset as 30 centimeter for example or 20 centimeter can be good and make it downwards then press on tr from your keyboard and make a closed profile for your floor and delete all other not important lines click ok and do the same for all other profiles so we use the swept blend for basically doing almost everything something else is important which is you can make things faster by replicating the profile click on the parallel profile that you want to make double click it and remove the profile then use the pick lines to um, pick the parallel profile so this shortens your time do the same for all parts if you cannot get a hold on one of the masses or one of the parts filter use the filter and make a check only on the generic masses and now you have it 
now we have all the floors along the whole mass. Now click on the first one, select it, select both sides since they are uh, a mirrored mass. For the material, I use softwood lumber. We write it the same way I am doing. Then we click apply. Then click on finish model and do the same for the rest. After finishing the wooden elements or the floors, we can now make the top part the mullions continues, but some mullions are not there. So we can easily customize how the mullions look like. By clicking tab, you can select them, and by clicking, uh, pressing on control while selecting, you can select multiple ones, unpin them all at a time, then press delete. Click on the glass elements while pressing control. You can now select an empty system panel. And now it's not there anymore. One more line just to replicate the original photo. And we need to take this floor a little bit downwards. It's not really a hard thing if we use control points like we learned. Click on the path multiple times until you see the control points. Select it. You need to add or delete control points, but we need to add first just to have the exact height we need. Add a control in the middle. It will automatically add it in the middle. Now delete the top point and it will be just as we wish. If we want to have it on a higher point, we can add a control point. We can even change the height where it, where it uh, is placed. Now delete the top point again. If this is how we like it, we can now click on finish edit mode multiple times. It's done. If we want to move any mullions, we can pick the axis of the mullion. You have to see dashed lines to pick the axis. Using tab, you have to see the dashed lines. Then using pressing control while you are selecting, you can select all dashed lines at once, unlock them and move them downwards. Just to look like the original photo. Now to do the roof, which is, which looks like a broken roof, we can use a mass, uh, an in-place mass from Massing and Side Tap. Let's name it a roof, then set the plane from one of the mullion's top sides, make a rectangle, and now we have a rectangle on the top, we can next click on the surface, create form, and then delete it to have these points, control points. Move them upwards from both sides. This one less than the other one. Now these mullions, it's a system connected mullion. So we need to Continue the mullion using the mass tool. I will click on it twice. Then I will set a ref uh, uh, the reference plane to be the top of the mullion. Then click on pick lines and pick this profile to extend it. Then create form, move it upwards. Why did I choose the mass? Because I can control how the mullions look like. And this is a quite customizable area now how i i'm in control i can control how these points are connected to the rooftop so no limitations are if i'm using a mullion or 
a floor for instance now i can pick all of the surfaces using the mouse then give it all the aluminium material from the left sidebar then click finish model now they are all aluminium for the last thing is the mullions on the sides the l mullions if i want to edit a family of mullions i have to use the project project browser scroll down then you will find family Click on the plus sign from curtain mullions, L corner mullion. For the dimensions, we can change the thickness of uh, the mullion. We need to make it uh, a moderate number. When I made it 500, an error happened, so I made it 450. And to solidify our surfaces, we can change them all to roofs. We go to the architecture tab, then under roof drop down, roof by face, and pick each roof uh, one by one. We can edit the type of the roof, duplicate it, and no name it wooden floor, for example. Then edit the thicknesses. And the materials from here we can remove all of them keep the structure only make it 200 millimeters and from the, the material side you can make it softwood lumber using the same materials we click create roof for each surface uh, for each wooden surface we have because masses, we cannot always depend on them. So when you click on on the bottom of the roof, it's different than when you uh, pick top of the roof. Not really continuous uh, between the mullions. So if if we made it, let's say, at the top of the of the surface, while selecting before creating roof. It will go downwards but we don't want that we want at the bottom of the roof because they are now aligned with the mullions that's it i hope it was useful don't forget to subscribe like the video and share our link everywhere thank you very much bye bye